traditional your press releases, you had your interviews with the media, and media meant generally radio, TV, and print, um, thought leadership pieces, um, and just the tools that we used from a point of view of audio, for example, sorry, visuals, um, were trannies. I don't know if any of you are familiar with this, but back in the day before, we used email to send visuals. We had little transparencies, um, trannies is short word for transparencies, and these things were like gold, they were currency, because they cost X amount to make, and your budgets were always tight, and you would dish out the tranny to a certain media house, and you, you know, make a pack that I'll be back in a week to pick this up, because next week, it has to go to the Soweto, and, 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 and. So it was very labor intensive. When we sent out our press release, we did it by fax. And just the protocols of the newsroom, more often than not, is that journalists did not want to share. So you'd send a fax to you know, X journalist at one publication, but you needed to be able to communicate to a few of the journalists, say in the entertainment space, at the same publication. And they simply would not share. So you'd literally laboriously do a second cover page, send another fax to the second person, so you'd be sending out something like eight reams of paper to you know, four different people. And that's just what it was. So in many respects, the, the amount of time, the labor they had put into just getting the message out was incredibly onerous. Now you click and the, the email is gone. I think I was in my third year in PR when I persuaded the company I was working for to bring on email as a tool. And even then, you couldn't send attachments. So you had to cut and paste um, the star for the longest time. And I hope I don't have anyone from the star in the audience. <laughs> For the longest time, independent newspapers, for example, didn't um, um, support things like attachments. So just how it was we could communicate and the reach which our tools had was extremely limited. Today, it's a very different story. We have our infographics that can tell a story so much more effectively than a tra you know, a traditional press release can, or it can enhance um, a press release. Because the press release, like many traditional tools, remains a very important and effective one, but it can be enhanced by all these other tools that we brought to bear on the game. So you look at your infographics, your audio visuals, now you can send out a short snippet of whatever it is you're communicating about. Digital PR is real. The impact it has, like I said, is massive. The reach is you know, almost unthinkable from what we used to be able to do. And then influencer advocacy, which is a really massive change. Once upon a time as the PRs, we were the main conduits of information. It started and ended with us, as it were. Now brands are representing themselves through you know, the influencers individuals who themselves are looking to get their, their story out, whether they're you know, public personalities, they can use their own platforms on, on social media. They don't necessarily need any PROs in the conduit. Certainly as PRs, we, you know, our, our, our skill set is in crafting a strategy, so there will always be space for us within that conversation. But the fact is, we are no longer the arbiters, we are no longer the sole um, carriers of that message. So that's kind of like the main ways in which um, the, the tools of the game have changed and it had a ma major impact on how it is we communicate. Um, this slide, in many respects, the business of this slide represents the business of the landscape. So like I said, once upon a time, we had a few key tools and we knew exactly how we would dispense. Today, we're living in a very different um, environment where the way we approach um, the, the projects is very different. So the content, in many respects, has to speak to the audience in ways that are really engaging, um, bespoke, relevant, quick. Um, it has to be able to evolve really, really quickly. Your message has to be able to change as circumstances change. And fortunately, um, with tools that, such as social media, you can, you, know, you can send out a message almost immediately and not have to depend on the schedules of a newsroom, for example. So in many respects, it's been, uh, it's been a boom for us. Um, the impact is high. Um, the speed is you know, uh, completely transformed. Um, we are able to work with the specifics of the brand personalities. It's known that the conversations aren't as general as they used to be. Um, from a reputation management perspective, we can afford, and we can, well, we can be a lot more targeted in how it is we communicate. And we're, we're connected in ways that we never were able to. We can talk to our audiences directly. We can get feedback almost immediately, thanks to social media. So the, the environment we're working with now is, is, is that much faster, that much more connected.